بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم میں اسلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر موونگ فارورڈ ود دا ڈفرنٹ اسٹیک ہولڈرز اینڈ سینگ دا ویریس امپلیکیشنز ریلیٹڈ ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو ود دی رول آف میڈیا اینڈ دی انفلوئنس آف نیوز میڈیا آن کارپوریٹ گورننس ناؤ آل آف اس آر ویری اویئر دیٹ ناؤ اڈ از ان دا ٹوینٹی فرسٹ سینچری وی آر آل وی آر آل نیوز سیوی وی آر آل میڈیا سیوی اینڈ موسٹ امپارٹنٹلی the different uh, print, electronic and social media have a great influence on us as individuals and also as institutions. Uh, therefore, uh, when we're talking about the news media, which could be on any of these three different platforms, uh, they have a very big impact on the board of directors, uh, on the management and uh, overall on the shareholders and stakeholders. Uh, now, when we're talking about uh, news media, uh, we do know uh, that Uh, based upon the various consumption of news, uh, it tends to minimize agency costs and ensure manage, managerial accountability. So what we see is, is that internally accountability is done by the employees or by the shareholders, while externally uh, what we see is, is that it is being done by the media. And what happens is, is that rather than having special uh, departments or having uh, special employees who are looking at the accountability, even though, uh, yes, uh, there is always internal audit and also external audit, but uh, more so than the internal and external audit are the uh, media and the news which they bring up uh, based upon certain information uh, which is provided to them by some internal whistleblower and then they disseminate it uh, across uh, the country or even across the globe and that has a huge uh, financial and political impact uh, on the organization. Uh, dissatisfied shareholders can pose a threat of takeover and therefore based upon that information uh, the shareholders can be dissatisfied and they can then uh, try to uh, topple the management and have a new management emerge so that the organization can run in a better way. So all of these things uh, basically are happening within uh, the particular organization. Through the market the news media influence the corporate governance practices of the violating firm. So again it is a major check that whatever news is emanating or emerging, uh, they would have a direct influence on the various segments and various strata and various management levels of any organization. And more so, what we see is, is that uh, these uh, news media uh, also uh, keep the top management in check and ensure that they do not do something which is against the principles of law, rules, regulations uh, or other stipulations. And therefore, uh, this acts as a very uh, pertinent and very important uh, stakeholder to make sure that the organization does not violate uh, the codes of corporate governance. Uh, what we see again is that news media as an information intermediary influences the corporate policy making and regulatory activity. So again, based upon the news that is being assimilated, the, bo the board is basically uh, strategizing and also coming up with new policies, new rules and new regulations to ensure that there is no deviation uh, from uh, good corporate governance. News media criticism of companies' governance practices leads various groups to question the ability of the policy makers. So again, many a times uh, we see that uh, it could also be a question to the government. It could be a question to the board of directors. It could be a question uh, to the top management that why are certain things, why are certain practices uh, still embedded within a particular organization and they have to be dealt with. Uh, properly uh, through a sustainable and a long-term approach so that they do not tend to undermine the organization and that is very important. So this news media has uh, a multiplicity of effect through the various stakeholders and uh, it basically can uh, churn and mobilize and catalyze the different stakeholders to be concerned about the organization and ensure that nothing is being done wrong uh, in that particular organization. Uh, the, poli the policy makers intervene by increasing the stringency of corporate legal instruments and regulatory positions. So what happens is that as a counter to uh, the deviation or as a counter to the uh, corruption or as a counter uh, to the lack of accountability, uh, the policy makers or the board of directors then uh, tend to bring in more corporate legal instruments and also regulatory provisions. And at a national level, uh, it can be done uh, by the parliament. The threat of increased corporate legislative and regulatory control encourages good uh, governance policies. So 
again this is a very very important dimension that with the advent uh, and with the promulgation and the passing of different corporate regulatory controls and uh, legislature we see that uh, the private sector and the various organizations they tend to have a level playing field and therefore then uh, they can do business in a better way uh, without worrying about nepotism favoritism uh, and corruption taking place at different levels so that basically ensures uh, that uh, through this uh, news media that the organization uh, tends to run in a far better way uh, the balance directors strike between monitoring and stewardship is a matter of contingency so what we see is is that it's very challenging for the board of directors that on one hand they have to be monitoring uh, all of the employees and all of the different levels of management and on the other hand they have to basically guide the organization provide motivation provide enthusiasm provide opportunities and possibilities to move forward so keeping the balance between both uh, sometimes becomes to be very challenging the management and board of directors are responsible for clearing the reputation of the company in case of negative corruption in in case of negative uh, coverage so what we see is is that if there is any negative coverage then it is the responsibility of the board of directors with the management to ensure uh, that they mitigate it uh, that they come out with a strategy they come out with an action plan uh, whereby the damage to the company is basically controlled and that is very very important and that is the strategic role that they tend to uh, observe in such a situation while the news media also has the responsibility to ensure that news is being given factually is being given based upon uh, authentication uh, there is uh, certain uh, witnesses and most importantly it should not be hearsay it should be actually a matter of fact uh, measures may include parties affected by misconduct within the company through an alignment of goals or financial reimbursement uh, management accountability financial transparency and active board oversight or stewardship would also be expected from the board of directors so again uh, what we see is is that uh, all of this basically uh, tends to assimilate uh, towards a more effective board uh, to a more responsible management and to uh, a more empowered uh, employee base which is being uh, basically protected uh, by the fourth pillar and that is the news media which ensures that at an institutional at a local uh, or at a national level uh, things are being done in the right way and there is no deviation from the code of conduct and therefore based upon any deviation then the board of directors uh, basically come in and ensure uh, that they uh, tend to define proper rules and regulations and policies so that uh, such a thing cannot recur again thank you so much